So I'm here with Trez of Sip and Savor. He is a coffee mogul. What I try to do is what I call the five C's. I want to bring something that's crisp, clean, classy, consistent, and most important of all, customer service. If we do them five C's, and of course the other thing attached to that is where coffee and community meet. And that's the another five. You put them together, you get a perfect 10. So my vision when I started putting these coffee houses together was it had to be more than just a coffee house. It had to be an experience where people can come they could do homework, people can come and have business meetings, people can come just to have a date, whatever they want to do. And while they're here, it's like a modern day Cheers. Bronzeville has so much history, you know, even in this place, if you look on the wall, you had people like Quincy Jones that was here, uh, you know, uh, Ella Fitzgerald. They're well known for jazz, blues, and it had its own economic power where there was a lot of black businesses that was thriving and everybody supported everybody in here. It's like the black mecca. They should call it the black metropolis. The community needed something that was real classy and elegant because most of the people that, like I said, middle to upper class, leave the community to find something nice. I want people to come in and feel comfortable while they sipping. Not only while they sipping, but while they communicate. This place kind of wraps his arms around you and says, stay a while. My growers, are guaranteed a fair trade rate and I make sure of that so I pay almost two and a half times what a regular coffee house would pay so I can get that stamp for fair trade. I wanted to know where my beans was coming from, where the people getting paid a fair rate because I didn't want to be a part of nothing in that chain that I was trying to make money off the backs of somebody who's out there starving. Our number one stunner, we call it, is the Caramel Royale. That's two shots of espresso, your choice of steamed milk, 2% skim, soy, or almond, or half and half. All topped with caramel drizzle, with whipped cream. But when you come up with drinks, where do you get it? Are you thinking about your beautiful wife? No. See, I'm getting... <laughs> I gave you an opportunity there, well, Chris. I missed it. <laughs> so when I'm thinking about drinks, I just put stuff together and I have my staff try it or I'll have them do like a competition. Hey, you guys make some drinks and see if we can whoever get the best drink, we may call it after you. He's going to have to buy his high school sweetheart wife some flowers when she watches us. Uh, you're not going to put that on. That's going to be cut. <laughs> Indeed. Mm -mm. Okay, so the next drink, we got a Mocha Bomber for the president. We got a banana. What's in the Mocha Bomber? The Mocha Bomber got two shots espresso. And then it's got white chocolate for his mom dark chocolate for his dad, then it's got pineapple sauce and coconut sauce for his Hawaii upbringing. I'll see if you know what you're doing. Am I really hired? Damn, that's good. <laughs> you did all right. all right. So you remember when we was growing up, you used to have the push-ups? Yes. And the dream sickles? Well, I was able to recreate some drinks, and ours is called the Banana Delight and the Dream Sickle. I don't play. That does taste like a dream sickle. <laughs> be in the laboratory working on that. I didn't know you were a scientist. Yeah, uh, I'm like Confucius, Socrates, and Aristotle all in one. Remember when he <laughs> said he was humble? <laughs> <laughs> we got banana nut muffins, chocolate muffins, our banana cake is like crack. We do a breakfast sandwich, a turkey egg and cheese, sausage egg and cheese. Is it on a this. croissant or a biscuit or? You can do it on a croissant or on any other bagels we offer. And okay. then in the afternoon, we just offer one sandwich and that's a chicken salad sandwich on a toasted croissant. I've had so much coffee, I have energy to help wash dishes. Sure. Here you go, take care. All right, thank you, thanks, thanks. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna hire her. Yes.